That's not a knife. That's a knife. Don't hit me with this because you're gonna take me out. Woo! I've never managed to climb up a pandanus before. Oh, look at you. This is your best climber boots on. Woken up to this stunning morning here in the Bay of Prony. Quite a few boats came here last night and yesterday. Water's like a mirror. And you can hear the birds, which we don't hear very often. Just going to go and check out this little beach. So we pulled into another bay for the night and then uh, back to Namia tomorrow probably. The bottom went. Oh! It really drops off. That that's all spiky stuff down there. You don't want to. Get, yeah, yeah. It looks like it's covered in um, oysters. I think this might be. Uh, could be sandy. Very gentle, isn't it? Let's go and check this place out. Looks a bit like the first beach we went on. Which is very similar. There's coral. Coconuts? Cool. Lots of coral. Coral everywhere. I think Magnus has found some coconuts. He's gathering. One. Two more and another one. Oh that's a whole pile of them over there. Hundreds. Oh that one's sprouting. Yeah, that one's this is a, like a stash of coconuts. You don't even have to climb up to get them. You could fill the boat with coconuts if we wanted to. sand off it. Oh, that came off easily. Well, it's, you've just got to be professional. So this is the coconut marshmallow. With your red hand. Oh! Is that weird? It's the embryonic stage of a coconut. That's beautiful. It's full of good stuff. Whoops. That's a bit weird. Oh. It's very um, salty. It's just dipped in the ocean. It's like marshmallow. Yeah. Excuse the red. It's, it's, it's very light, look. You stick your finger right in it. Strange. Is that the usual stuff? Yeah. I like that stuff. I'll take that back and put it on your thingo. I'll take that back and put it on my thingo. There you go. How quick it is now. Yeah. Thanks to Richard with his system. We've run out of fresh desiccated coconut so there's this dish that Wendy makes that, oh it's absolutely gorgeous it's an Indian curry called fish coolie Mooly. 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 so I'm gonna get take this back to the boat and desiccate it I'll show you how to do that the lesson on desiccating your own coconuts a couple of tools you need for this job first tool you need is a tropical island Second tool, Australian pocket knife. And third tool you need, we've got on board. 
um, for desiccating your coconut or for shaving your coconut. Um, you won't, you've, we bought it at the local hardware, but you won't find it in your hardware back home. But not hard to make. Here you go, Wen. Thank you. Take this one and we'll grab it on the way back. Oh, yeah. Now to find a green one. That's not a knife. That's a knife. Just walking along here admiring these pandanuses. They're like monstrous. Never seen anything like it. I'm looking at this vine here, eh? Look, it's like a little Christmas tree. Oh, yeah. Bubbles. I've never managed to climb up a pandanus before. Oh, look at you. This going to be best climber boots on. These are spiky. Are you going to get. I don't know. Funny looking fruit. Can See all place? those tiny little, tiny little lumps here. Just these little itsy they're, bitsy lumps. They're very sharp. They are absolutely <laughs> solid. Them. Look at these beautiful. Huh. Yeah. I wonder if they turn into flower or a seed pod or. Right. What's fine here? It's just, oh, it the yam. I don't know. That's, that's unbelievable. Yeah, the aerial roots. The real jungle in here. Yeah. And we're half off the beach. Ten oh, feet. Three feet or something. Yeah. It's like jungle. It is. Perfect jungle. Well, let's go find some green coconut. Let's go get the first one out and then we'll. There we go. That's how you do it. Voila. For the same greens. Here's a little present for my darling wife. Yeah. That is really good. Is it yummy? Mm. Nice and cool. Yeah. Wow, it's beautiful coral. It is. Check this out. Beautiful, Look at this. Put it in perspective. I got a big hand. Yeah. Oh, they're spectacular. And it goes right up there. These fish. Mm -hmm. Did you see them before? Look at them. Oh, they're, you... oh, they're, they're blue Look at Parapis. them all. Parapis. Right in the shallows, lots of fish. I don't know if you can. There, look at the fish. They on the top of the. They on the surface. Beautiful colours. And had a match on cricket for quite some time. Don't hit me with this because you're going to take me out. Woo! Where'd it go? There, two up. You ready? Woo! Where'd that go? Another two up. Here we go. Ready? And a two again! Okay, yeah, you're good at this. Ready? Pretty small it's coral. Well, I don't want to get hit by it. Did it hit you? No, 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 Oh, that would have been caught behind. 
put it more like that. And then so, I, can't, uh, I can't see it until it's here because I've got my muscles on. No! 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 If I hadn't moved, that would have got me. Yeah, that's body line series. But, yeah, make it easy. Not two! <laughs> one, one, one. No, 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 no! <laughs> you hit one! I want to hit you. Why can't I do it? <laughs> Get you, darling. It's like golf, then. It's a pebble. See? And don't choke it. Beautiful. One lesson, you're, you're a star. Yee Look at this place. So many little holes along the beach. They've been busy. That's a big one. We just realised yeah. that this is our last South Pacific beach. Yeah, because... Yeah, because yeah. we're leaving here in the morning Heading back to Namia. Yeah. Um, there's not really a beach there. And then we'll just Parisian, check out, and a next beach we'll be walking on is in Australia. Gold Coast. The Gold Coast, Gold Australia. Coast. <laughs> this is our last South Pacific beach. So we'll be in Australia in I don't know, less than two weeks. From less than today. two weeks, yeah. That's 12 days. Yeah. Pretty cool. Cheers. Beautiful beach, though. Yeah. yeah, lovely place. And we've really enjoyed our time in South Pacific. Yeah. We're thinking about how many islands, how many beaches we've walked down. Um, we, we don't film it very often, but we we go for a walk most afternoons on a beach. Yeah. And uh, just check it out and go see what we can find. But um, yeah, it's been good. Enjoyed it. Been lovely. So, the end of a chapter, really. We had our... You're getting all DNM. I am. <laughs> we had a narrowboat chapter. Yeah. We had our uh, Central America, North America chapter. Now our Pacific chapter this year. Next time you see that, that'll be down at a beach on, uh, <laughs> Portland. on the Broadwater or Stradbroke Island or something like that. Yeah. All right, ciao. See ya, bye. So the other device you need to get yourself is one of these. So you just sit on it, stick it between your legs and sit on it. And then you put a bowl underneath and you, this is what you end up with, it's a product. So what we'll do, we'll put that in some cheesecloth, we'll wring that out and get all the oil out of it, all the um, coconut oil. And then you fry it up and you get a desiccated coconut. coconut. So all you do is stick the coconut, sit on it properly, stick the coconut on. And voila! Look at that. What does the coconut look like? Oh, it's hardly touched it. Yeah. If you get a lot out of it. Oh well, yeah. We did this in India once. Remember when? Yes, but that thing you sat on. You sat on the floor and it looked absolutely lethal. So quick. Oh, I'm just good at it. And then you never waste anything. You end up with a nice bikini top. Not finished. <laughs> you made it look easy. It is easy. It's very moist, isn't it? I see. I got it. Next step is to squeeze it out. So you get some cheesecloth right next to your nice little platter that your wife's made up. And you transfer the coconut 
onto your cheesecloth. This is two and a half coconuts. Why? Hands are just glowing in coconut oil. You got soft hands, don't you? Yeah, it's like shearing a sheep. Have you ever shorn a sheep? Yes. Never had shorn sheep. Sheep, even. Did you do a good job of it? No, it's shocking. Your cheesecloth, you bunch it up as if you're doing, you know, you're pressing a cheddar or something or a stilton. That's what I do most of the time with my cheesecloth. Place it over your bowl. Oh my goodness. And you goodness. squeeze pure coconut milk it and oil out of it. That's going to be delicious. It's really good for your hands. Yeah. You can't be good at coconut cream. So I've reduced that large, that massive bit lump of coconut down. It's going to make the best moolie ever. So there we go. That's about, I don't know, a cup. And then the rest of it goes into a fry pan. So I'm just going to fry this down. Get any big lumps of black out. So this is pretty dry now. And that's how easy it is to make desiccated coconut. Oh, you should smell this. We had smell of vision That's pretty dry now. It's been about um, 15 minutes. It's just got all the moisture out of it. All the water the moisture. It's still got the oil in it very oily, which is perfect. Just getting everything ready to uh, head off back to Namia. First cup of the morning. Sun's just over the yard arm, or the other arm, the morning yard arm, and um, it's about to weigh the anchor out of this beautiful little bay, very fruitful bay, um, and head back to the big smoke in Numia, is the plan for today. Here we are, um, Numea, Numea, New Caledonia, and we are having one of the local um, Havana beers. It's a pale ale, and it is ice cold. But anyway, that's why you have them in New Caledonia. Got the flavour of production beer. I mean, the smell. The colour's good. Oh, that is not bad. This is our first real beer since we were in. Where were we, man? Costa Rica. I don't know. No, been a while anyway. And we have. No, 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 no. We had them in, in uh, La Paz, and we've had real ales in... It might be your first in the South Pacific. I don't know, anyway. Um, that... That is definitely not a disappointment. 
because I've been looking forward to this for a lot of thousand miles. And it is good. It's a seven and a half. Let's see what Wendy reckons. Not bad though. So here I have a beer. Oh, that smells like beer. It's beautiful. But it is incredibly cold. Very See, French. You really can write glass. your name in the glass. Give it a go. That's really good. That's delicious. Another sip. That's my kind of beer. It's not too hoppy. It's got a good depth of flavour. Very tasty. I'll go a bit higher than Magnus. I'll go 8.2 8 for that one. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, I'm going to enjoy this. And I should enjoy it because it's probably the most expensive beer we've had since Australia. Cheers.